welcome to a Sunday morning in the French city of Rennes. So we spent the evening here last night, a rare outing, and uh, it's raining this morning. I've got an umbrella, but it doesn't matter because we're going for a little walkabout and it should be quite interesting. Here's the beautiful town, not much to see. Everything's closed on a Sunday morning. Hopefully we'll find a nice bakery that's open somewhere. It's quite early here, just 8 p.m. No, it's not, 8 a.m. You can tell I've just woken up because I can't even tell between my p.m.s and my a.m.s then we're gonna have a problem. There's a few places that I wanna take you to uh, here in this beautiful city because it has some really, really nice architecture. And, uh, well, no one else is awake. So I thought, why not take you there? And that's what we're doing. And hopefully I'll wake up in the process. Once we check out the nice buildings of Rennes, I'm gonna tell you whether it's worth uh, living in a French city or not. Still not much to see, but we are soon going to approach the first place I want to show you. Not many cars on the road here on a Sunday at 8 a.m. Pardon me, pigeons. So if I turn around here, this beautiful building that you just saw me walk under is the Palais du Commerce. And it was built in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And this is here, the metro station is called République. So everyone just calls this place République. But it's actually the Palais du Commerce and it served various purposes in Rennes over the years. It was notably an École de Beaux-Arts, which is like a, an art school, an art college, you know, higher education. Uh, I believe it still has a post office. My, my, those pigeons are active. It still has a post office and serves various other functions. And that's probably the biggest and most beautiful uh, building in Rennes, in my opinion. But coming up here, a couple of other really nice buildings that I want to show you. My, my, really is deserted on a Sunday morning, isn't it? Oh, don't know if you can see that on the camera, but smashed up uh, bank door there. Not a pretty sight. A bit of graffiti there as well. Not a nice sight for the centre of town. So if we look here to the left, we have what you would call Town Hall. That is the Mairie. And it is indeed a beautiful building. And just opposite is the Opera House. Now, fun fact about the Opera House, it was built in 1836, that's when it was finished, and uh, apparently it was a little bit controversial for the design inside, something about 44 steps. I don't know, I was quick to read the Wikipedia page. I believe those are private apartments above on either side. I could be wrong though, but I don't think I am. So anyway, the inside actually burned down uh, in 1856, just 20 years after its inauguration due to a uh, small fire in the foyer. And they must have liked the design of the inside in the end because they actually rebuilt it exactly the same, apart from uh, 
changing the colours of the chairs, which is a minor change for a fire. But back to City Hall, and that was built uh, almost a hundred years before. It was uh, built in the mid 1700s, and if you look at the shape, uh, it's um, it would actually fit like a puzzle piece together with the Opera House, and that is by design. And a lot of this architecture dates after uh, a huge fire that happened in Wren in 1720, which wiped out about 40% of the town itself, of the houses, some 800 houses. It was a lot smaller at the time, of course, this town was. But they had to rebuild. And so they built those beautiful buildings there and now come in to one of my favourite spots in Rennes. And this is really beautiful, you're gonna like this. Beautiful cobbled roads. And there is the Parliament building, which again was ravaged by a fire, but this time for a different reason. This beautiful building here actually was not damaged by the fire in 1720, but I believe the whole roof uh, and perhaps the inside was destroyed uh, by a fire. Why is there a random seagull? In 1999, during some protests slash riots, you could say. I apologize, it wasn't 1999, it was 1994 when a flare was shot up onto the roof and uh, pierced one of the uh, roof tiles and uh, obviously set fire to the roof from the inside, which is quite sad. But they did rebuild it and dare I say, they did a pretty good job. Oh, again, a bit of graffiti there on the, uh, on the front which is uh, absolutely disgusting. But what a beautiful building and a beautiful square. Very nice. But another little area that's become a bit of a architectural wonder, as they say, is somewhere they've just spent in 2019, 120 million euros on, roughly quite a lot of money and I'm pretty sure they're set to spend or are spending another 12 million euros on it roughly and that is the train station oh look at this this is an old high school nice bit of graffiti there on the on the picture it's always nice to see isn't it look at that though what a beautiful high school and I believe it is still a school which is quite impressive. 1803, the building dates from, it says it on the front. That's beautiful. Very nice. Some famous thing happening there with important men back in the day. Look at that, it's got its own chapel. Such beautiful architecture. We're approaching the train station now. And it's become a bit of a tourist attraction. There's people in the middle of the road taking photos in front of the uh, train station. Here we are. That's the, uh, the metro there. The little underground. And here is the train station. I'll show you what it looks like before. This is what they turned it into. Kind of weird design. But yeah, not too bad. What more can I say really? It's a train station. And now to tell you if I think it's worth living in a city like this in France. And the answer would definitely be no. Because I used to come here quite a lot, like 10 years ago. And it's changed changed quite a bit. Noticing a little bit more graffiti, a little bit more riff-raff yesterday. You know, a few ruffians. 
um, up to no good. So, yeah, it's not really a place where you'd want to live. It's nice to come and visit, don't get me wrong, but to live, I'd say the pros don't outweigh the cons with regards to living in the countryside, especially considering French countryside also has beautiful architecture and it's just a bit, a bit nicer because it's the countryside. But you know what? That's just my personal opinion. And it doesn't really matter, does it? And that's, uh, yeah, that's what the train station's made of now. Obviously, the 120 million ain't spent just on the front. It's uh, for the inside as well and different train lines, I believe. But, yeah, it looks kind of weird. Very weird. Very beautiful town, though, I must admit. Architecturally speaking, it is beautiful. And that's all I've got to say about the town of Rennes. I'm gonna wrap this video up on this beautiful Sunday. It's coming up for 9 p.m. now, so I've had a nice bit of exercise for the day as well. So I'm a happy boy. Hope you enjoyed the little history lesson. I'm gonna love you and leave ya. I'll see you in the next video. Normal video, renovating. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>